demonstrate how to create an exploded view of the miniature train. So we're going to go ahead and click on presentation and create view in the upper left hand corner. We've got to select our assembled train. Choose open. Now we've got an option of an explosion method, manual or automatic. I want to show you what automatic does and let's just go a two inch distance and choose OK. And actually that looks pretty good and that may be sufficient for what you want to do but if you want to animate it unfortunately the automatic explosion everything gets animated together and I kind of like to show my parts coming together as individual parts so in order to do that we've got to do a manual explosion method so I'm going to demonstrate how to do that with your train make it look really sharp so we'll click on the uh, once we get it in here click on the tweak components view or uh, tool rather, highly technical term there, tweak components. And we're going to start off with the uh, pegs and when you click on them you're given an option of what axis you want to uh, pull them out on and in this case we want to come straight out on the Y so you got to change that and I'm going to come out about four inches. Type in the number four and hit check. If it does what I want it to do. I'm going to hit clear and go on to the next peg. So right over here in this case, I want to go on the Y, so I got to change that again. Come out about four inches, hit that check. That looks good. Hit clear, and then I'm going to go to the linkage arm. And sometimes it chooses the right axis I want. In this case, it does that Z reference, and it's all relative, so it doesn't have to be exactly uh, the same every time. Depends on where you click. And that looks good, so I'll hit clear. And it's important to hit that clear button or else you will not be able to do individual uh, explosions of the parts. Uh, that Z I want to come out mm, about three and a half this time. Let's see how far that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll hit clear again and do another one right over here. 3.5, hit check. Looks fine. I'm going to do the wheels, clear. And uh, you're going to disassemble this train the same way that you would assemble it in a reverse order. Bring those wheels out, looks good. Hit clear in between. About two inches looks fine. Check. And uh, if you don't like something, you can always change it. So before you hit clear, hit that check mark and change it back to an inch. That's fine. And. Uh, if you like it, you can re-put it back in. Hit clear, and we'll go to the other side, doing the same exact thing. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate to save time, but you get the idea here. Uh, for the stack, we'll go ahead and place uh, that tool right there and bring that up about an inch. Check. Looks good. Hit clear. The cow catcher. Uh, it thinks I want to go up on the Z, but you can't physically do that. So I have to make sure I choose the Y axis. And I can actually pull that out on the Y. Same thing for some of these uh, back here. The magnet hitch peg and the magnet hitch magnet. So let's choose clear in case I didn't already. And uh, this one's kind of interesting. Whenever I, I choose this one, it actually looks like it wants to go in on that Z into the body. So if I choose a negative number, negative two, it's going to send it in the opposite direction, which is exactly what I want to do. And uh, we'll go ahead and this will be my last one to demonstrate. Bring this out about an inch. And this time it does bring it on the positive direction, which is what I want it to do. We'll hit clear, close this. And again, it only does one side, but when you animate it, uh, notice it'll do each individual component goes through showing how each piece goes in and if you want to create a nice presentation to demonstrate how something goes together this would be a really nice way to do that so this is the presentation file the exploded view for the miniature train